This is sort of a good news, bad news situation for deer hunters this season. The DNR says due to budget cuts um, and, and, and uh, fewer staffing shortages, there will be fewer deer check stations, and that could mean longer lines and higher wait times. But the good news here, some restrictions are being eased up on this season. Michigan hunters are expected to be out in larger numbers this year, today marking the opening day of archery season for deer hunting. Chad Stewart with the DNR says normally they see a 2 to 4% decline in hunters every year, but this year is expected to be an exception. As of uh, the beginning of September, our deer license sales were up about 20% from this time last year. The DNR saw more participants in fishing in the spring turkey season too, but it seems no aspect of life is immune to changes from the pandemic, even deer hunting. Hunters will notice far fewer check stations where the DNR looks for diseases and gathers information about the deer. We're going to have a lot fewer locations and reduced hours as well uh, across much of the state. If you want your deer tested for chronic wasting disease, uh, you're, you're pretty much confined to uh, counties where we've currently identified chronic wasting disease. This does not include the Tri-County area. Deer hunters this year, though, won't need to purchase a separate license to take antlerless deer. Now, if you're hunting with a deer or a combination license, you can take an antlerless deer during the firearms or muzzleloader season. Uh, that's a change that uh, is a new one and, and quite frankly a big one that's going to potentially save hunters uh, a little bit of money. This as the muzzleloader season is shortened from 17 days to 10 days this year in the southern part of the state. And that has been replaced with late antlerless season opportunities. So a lot of changes uh, this year that hunters are going to have to be mindful of. If you are going to a check station, the DNR is asking that you wait in your car as you wait in line and also have your mask on. A list of where those check stations will be can be found on the DNR's website. And if you are in this neck of the woods in the Tri-County area and you want your deer checked for CWD, you can contact a private lab. More information, again, is on the DNR's website. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.